Hi, this is Billy Joe with Moon Goddess 114433. I hope y'all are doing amazingly splendid. <laughs> so, I'm bringing y'all another pick card reading, of course. This one is um, Messages from Your Soulmate or Twin Flame, whatever title you want to put on it. Messages from Their Higher Self. Okay, these, um, when I was shuffling and I was meditating and everything, um, I asked for messages. I didn't be specific on whether it's love or uh, what kind of message you would receive. It's just something that you would need to know <clears throat> from your counterpart's higher self. I just kind of left it open with that. The decks that I'm using is the, however you say that, Klimt, Klimt Tarot, and the Divine Circus Oracle. I love these cards, they're so pretty. Okay, so we have, okay, let me go ahead and say this is a general reading. Only take what resonates and throw out the rest. If it doesn't resonate, please don't force it. Okay. So, we have three decks. Pile one <clears throat> is with the clear glass slipper. Pile two is with the pink. This one's all glittered up. It's got some bling bling on it. Well, they all do. I guess. Well, not this one. And pile three is with the beautiful blue glass slipper. <laughs> okay. If you need more time, just go ahead and pause the video. And you might want to take a deep breath, meditate, ask your higher self and source to guide you to the deck that is best suited for you. And um, is my intention that everyone has some kind of message in the deck they picked. Um, and is my intention this be timeless. So let's go ahead and get started. Put these to the side. Those that picked pile one with the beautiful, look at that. It's like Vanna White showing some beautiful little shoes here. I mean, who doesn't have shoe fetish? Okay. Let's set this over here because I just like some shoes. Let's put some bling in this video. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Really, I'm going to get started on your cards now. So, these are messages from your higher self. You have the stars. You have the Knight of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. I think I'm going to wait, turn this one over here in a little bit. So, with the Star card, so when, you know, with this card, <clears throat> the way that she's embracing this person, it kind of looks protective. Um, it's so tender and uh, serene and peaceful. And it's kind of like, you know, when you go out at night to lay down on the ground and you look up at the stars and it's just so, it's so peaceful and so quiet and so serene. And to me, the star card is, is a hopeful card. You know, why am I hearing that song? I'm hearing a Disney song, I think, I think it's from Cinderella. Dream is a wish your heart makes. I'm not singing that. It's going in my head. Oh my goodness, no. Okay, so we have the star. And then we have... <laughs> the Knight of Wands. So, 
the Knight of Wands, um, this is a very fast moving knight. It's not, it's not as fast as a sword, but it's a very fast moving energy. And <clears throat> this can be like going in a new direction, new offers, new things. <laughs> And it's going to be offered quickly. And I'm getting because the star cards there is something that you've hoped for. And then we have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is kind of like things that's been hidden is going to be revealed. Maybe secrets, maybe new discoveries. So... You've got something that you've hoped for that's going to come in quickly and unexpectedly. And it's something that either is going to be revealed or discovered. Stop singing that in my head. Okay. And for your Divine Circus card, we have Secret of Shinobi. So let me, I'm going to get the book on that because I don't really know these, these cards, the meanings for these cards. I'm going to just read it. <laughs> okay. Why is it? Okay. It's number, e hey, it's number 11, y'all. Number 11, Secret of Shinobi, says, Shh, can you keep a secret? It's time to play your cards close to your chest. Soon enough, you'll be ready to stand upon the mountaintop for all to see and hear. For now, let things unfold in the guarded privacy of your inner world. When the time is right to be seen in the light, You'll know what is true and what to do. Until then, be patient, be private, be committed, and wait for the right time to shine. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that I keep hearing that Cinderella cartoon song, um, and I'm not singing it. <laughs> But it's um, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Um, oh, no, no, no. Dream, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Oh, what is it? What is it? When you're fast asleep in dreams, you will lose your heartaches. So basically, I'm kidding that um, I hate it when when spirit gives me these songs in my head, it's so no. <laughs> I'm not a singer. I'm like terrified someone I know is going to watch. <laughs> so anyways, um, so with this, that pick deck one, I'm getting that um, something you really hoped for, dreamed about, and wished for is about to come true. So... Just keep that in mind, y'all, that picked deck number one. Um, I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, those that picked deck two. With the pink. I mean, look, it's even got stuff on the bottom of the shoe. Look at that, y'all. All that bling around it. This is the pink one, y'all. Okay, so for those of you that picked pile two, let's see here. You have Judgment. These are kind of neat looking cards. The Queen of Chalices. And the Four of Wands. 
Okay, and I'll wait for that one for a little bit. So, with the Judgment card. So, the Judgment card is like... In the regular tarot, it's kind of like, you know, being resurrected um, and having to face that angel. But with this one, it's like having to make a choice or being tested. Um, those that picked pile two is probably at a, at a crossroads where you're having to make this difficult choice. Then you have the Queen of Chalices. You can call it the Queen of Cups. This deck is called the Chalices. Um, the Queen of Chalices, the Queen of Cups, she's, this is someone who's very generous, very charming, um, very nurturing. And um, in this deck, it says um, she has an ability to listen. And she looks like she's paying attention. She's sitting here drinking her margarita. Her, I mean, not her margarita, her martini. I mean, that looks like a martini glass. She's drinking her martini with the olive in it. <laughs> she's listening intently. So I'm getting this with the judgment card. Um... Like, you are trying to make a, you know, the higher self is trying to tell you that you are at a point where you're having to pay attention to the choices that you're making. And then you have the four of wands. Um, pay attention to the choices you're making. Pay attention to the agreements um, and opportunities that's coming your way. So keep an eye open. Um... Because there's opportunities that are coming, and you really need to pay attention to them. Um, I'm, it would be like if you look at the judgment card, like looks like they've all got their eyes closed, right? It's like they're at a crossroads, but it's like they're not seeing it. Okay, let's see what your card is from the Divine Circus. It says Divine Divine Disguise. It is the number 23. I do that book. There it is. Let's see what it says. Number 23. The Divine Disguise says, Some blessings are obvious. The door that opens, the person who says yes, and the instant success of an idea. But not all blessings are instantly recognizable. Some blessings are so veiled that at first you might consider them to be an unwanted development. A concealed blessing is either already at work in your life or on its way. Don't worry if you feel like things aren't working out as they should. Soon enough, the disguise will be dropped and the blessed unmasked in all its beauty. So that's a pretty good message. Um, what I'm getting is that the higher self is telling you that, um, pay attention to everything that's going on. Pay attention to your surroundings, your opportunities, um, the choices that you're making, um, because you have a blessing there, you know, and it's still in disguise, I think. I don't think it's been revealed yet. She's still got the mask on. So, woohoo! Those that picked number two. I think that's pretty neat. I'd be like, ooh, a surprise. We got a surprise. <laughs> Although, I will admit, I'm not one that really likes surprises at all. I like, I want to know what's going on. <sighs> okay. For those that picked pile three with the, um, this, Blue glass slipper. Okay, so what message do you have from your soulmate or twin flames higher self? 
So we have the Hermit card. The Chariot. The Five of Pentacles. And we're going to wait to see that one. Okay. So, the Hermit card. Like, I really want to tell him to go eat something. So, you have the Hermit card. The Hermit uh, represents someone who spends a lot of time in solitude. Um, they're very reserved. Um, but they have a lot of wisdom. Because in the regular Tarot, you know, he's holding a lantern and it's light is shining. And he's, you know, he's just known as this wise person. Um, this person may spend a lot of time in meditation. Maybe you um, have spent a lot of time in meditation. Maybe a lot of time in solitude, um, contemplation. Maybe you've, you're wise, you've learned things. And then we have the chariot, okay, uh, represents um, successful forward motion. Like things are progressing, they're in motion. Um, these are things that move forward to um, more towards divine timing, more towards um, fulfillment and happiness, okay. And then you have the five of pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, um, so it, can, it represents things like hope, um, family comfort, um, wealth, encounters with generous people. But when I see this card, I'm not, I'm not seeing that in that card. I'm seeing this woman who's seriously thinking. She's in a lot of thought. And she's wringing her hands because she wants to make the right choice. Okay. She's weighing her options. Uh, I just see her wringing her hands. She's got this opportunity for prosperity. And she doesn't want to be frivolous with it. So, what I'm getting from these cards is that... Um, the higher self wants to tell you that um, stop worrying so much. Um, that things are in motion. That what you have, what I'm getting is what you have asked for, what you've prayed for, what you've wished for. Things that you're trying to manifest are already in motion. Okay, it's like you've already meditated and given it to source. And it's in motion just because you don't see it. Don't start wringing your hands and worrying about it and then asking for it all over again. That's kind of redundant. Um, I'm just getting that what you ask for is already in, in motion, even if you don't see it. So the, what, the card you got from Divine Circus, so we have Alice. This is number 12. So let's see what number 12 is. What does it say? What does it say? Okay. These are such just such pretty colorful cards. I just love them. Okay, Alice. It says, new worlds are calling you forth where the old rules don't apply. It might seem strange or freeing or wild or even scary at first. But you are meant to explore these new worlds. You will gain so much from the experience. There's no need to be afraid. Yeah, I, I think that basically your whole reading number three is basically telling you um, to stop worrying so much. Everything's going to work out as it's meant to. Everything's going to unfold. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening, okay? So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, this was Billy Joe. Bye.